If you like Michelle Yeoh, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. We will continue in a calm and orderly fashion. Stay here first. Number 10. Your mother is very open-minded. Not like here, where parents are obsessed with shaping the life of their children. Crazy Rich Asians is a 2018 romantic comedy film directed by John M. Chu. In this unforgettable clash of cultures, we follow native New Yorker Rachel Chu, who was set on a hard quest when meeting her boyfriend Nick's family in his hometown of Singapore. Excited about visiting Asia for the first time, she is surprised to discover that his family is amongst the richest in the country, and Nick is considered the most eligible bachelor in Asia. Having been through it all, I know this much. You will never be enough. Number 9. Supercop is a Hong Kong action film directed by Stanley Tong. Blending perfect martial arts hand-to-hand -hand combat with gun fu and slapstick comedy, Supercop follows an undercover detective who helps cartel members break out of prison to join a filthy crime lord. This is all part of his mastermind plan to bring them down until his true identity is accidentally revealed, bringing him into the crosshairs of every criminal in the underworld. <laughs> Number 8. I was hoping you might have some sulfur powder. Nobody's got sulfur powder. Not even the Japanese. The Children of Huang Shi is a historical war drama film directed by Roger Spottiswood. Set against the backdrop of war torn China in the 1930s, this gripping story follows a journalist, a nurse, and a partisan who risk everything to lead a group of orphaned children across 700 miles of perilous terrain to safety. Their journey of survival against overwhelming odds is a testament to human resilience and the power of compassion in times of dire crisis. It will be sad for your friend. Nobody to talk to but those boys. I think he will be lonely. I think he'll be just fine. You say that because you are never lonely. Number 7. The soldiers, they look very serious. You should come with some other day. No. Just ignore them. The Lady is a biographical film directed by Luc Besson, marking a relentless journey from quiet domestic life to becoming a symbol of national resistance. This narrative follows Aung San Suu Kyi as she returns to Burma to lead the democratic movement. Her transition from an academic in Oxford to the leader of Myanmar's democracy movement is portrayed with ultimate glimpses into her personal sacrifices set against the backdrop of political upheaval. Don't do anything hasty. Calm down first. I suggest we take her back to bed and then go down to see what's happening. Number 6. Tai Chi Master, directed by Yun Wuping. This martial arts epic recounts the lives of two inseparable friends trained in the disciplined art of Shaolin. As adults, their paths diverge dramatically, one upholding the righteous ways of their training and the other descending into power-hungry madness, leading to an inevitable and tragic confrontation that tests the bounds of their brotherhood. <laughs> Number 5. Are you saying they're still alive? We don't know. But they could be. Their oxygen is self-replenishing, water is recycled, and they have all the solar power that they need. Sunshine is a science fiction film directed by Danny Boyle and written by Alex Garland. It takes place in the year 2057 and follows a crew of astronauts on a dangerous mission to reignite the dying sun. It is a tale of fictitious future. There is a subtle tone of melancholy throughout the movie, but there is hope. Can anyone survive? If the shield is intact, we'll be able to see them. Yes, I, I need to look at all of this pretty carefully. Very carefully. Number four. Water is always in such a hurry. Perhaps it is just as well. We have no time to lose. Memoirs of a Geisha is an epic drama film directed by Rob Marshall. This tale of heartbreaking loss and a journey of belonging follows nine-year-old Chio, who gets sold to a geisha house, where she is trained for decades to become the perfect servant for nothing in regard. 
but after finally becoming what everyone always wanted her to be, her gained peace is at the brink of collapse because World War II is about to rain down. I see water in you. Does that displease you? Water is powerful. It can wash away earth, put out fire, and even destroy iron. Number 3 You are a product of all who came before you. The legacy of your family. The good and the bad. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is a superhero film directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. As the starting point for the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Shang-Chi introduces instantly beloved characters, complex enemies, and a whole new part of its world, expanding on its lore and mythology. It follows the young Shang-Chi, who grew up to be an assassin, as he faces his almighty father to save the world from destruction. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is a martial arts film directed by Ang Lee. Combining tasteful drama, breathtaking visuals, and legendary martial arts style, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon sets up a tale of love, violence, and betrayal. After a warrior gifts his sword to his loved one, it is stolen, leading him on a manhunt for whoever is guilty. But when the journey leads to the wealthy house of Yu, a game becomes a war. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I need to learn how to fight with a sword. There is something intriguing about you that I like. I'm flying home to Shanghai in the morning. I would only have a day. I think we can get a lot done in a day. You get to sail on a beautiful evening like this, and sometimes work with a decadent agent of a corrupt Western power. They say communists don't know how to have fun. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I don't even have a little red book. Number one. Hi, Evelyn. Mrs. Wong. Hey, Mom. I only cook enough food for three people. Now I have to cook more. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is a comedy drama film written and directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Brought by the weirdest but most wonderful and charming directors, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is everything its title promises. We follow a struggling and burnt-out woman who discovers that she must connect with parallel universe versions of herself to prevent a powerful being from causing the destruction of the multiverse. The film has been described as a swirl of genre anarchy and shows us what original storytelling can be. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.